my name is Augustine. I'm the CEO of Digify. So what we do is that uh, we help to keep your files private even after you send it. So essentially you can control what happens to your file. Um, you can unshare it and then you, or you can set it to self-destruct. And for the reader, it's a view-only experience. So they can view it but not copy, download or forward it. And they, uh, they cannot take screenshots of it. So this is how it works. Right. So essentially, when you log into the app, you can actually see the camera or the camera roll. So if you use a camera on the screen, this is what you will see. <laughs> and uh, if you go to the camera roll, you can actually pick out a file, right? a photo that you have sent, right? and then you can just browse your camera roll. And say you, you select this um, you know, secret looking photo and you send it to Ethan Hunt. Right? So the good thing about this is that it also integrates with your uh, address book, so you can actually um, uh, share files rather easily. It also integrates with the Dropbox, so you can actually log into a Dropbox and then uh, browse the Dropbox within the app. So select a document. So let's say this mission file. And on this mission, you want uh, you know maybe all the action heroes like Ethan Hunt, uh, Bruce Willis, Jet Li, you know everyone to go together, right? And uh, then for the self-destruct timing, you can choose anywhere from a minute to uh, to a month, right? And and graduations in between. So let's say for for this very experienced guy, let's give them just one minute. All right. So the file will be shared. Um, and then there is a statistics part of the app that actually tells you um, who has seen it for how long and give you the ability to unshare. So all three have, haven't seen it yet because we have just shared it. And then uh, let's say we want to disable it um, for uh, Jet Li because uh, you know, we feel that he shouldn't be in this mission anymore. Right? So yeah, he doesn't have access anymore. But you can always re-enable it and it's back on. <coughs> So it's very easy to unshare. Right, so we go to the Receive tab where we actually can view the document that we just shared uh, with ourselves. So we, we are logged in as Ethan now. So let's say we can view the mission file and it's uh, set for one minute, right? But it's actually a file to tell us more about some of the use cases. Uh, for instance, you may want to share uh, confidential um, drawings. This is a bad mobile with another company. Right, and then you also may want to keep your confident proposals confidential. You may you may spend a lot of time on creative proposal. You don't have clients to shop around. It's a good tool. And you can also keep your financials private, so both personal and those of your company. Right, and the next one is actually keeping your private photos private, so it doesn't go on the internet. Um. And the last one, the last use case that I'm going to highlight is protecting your identity. So let's say sometimes you sign up for a run, they want your ID, or people want to take a look at your passport, but you know they have they can see it, but they don't have to keep it, right? So when the timer runs out, the file will self-destruct. And now we're going to show what happens when you try to take a screenshot. So remember the secret-looking photo that uh, we selected just now. So we will now take a look at the photo. And we try to take a screenshot of this. Uh, so this is just showing the pinch and zoom. Yep, so this, this is a screenshot and then um, there'll be a notification. Essentially, the notification will be sent to the sender, right? Uh, and then uh, the, the access will be cut off from the, from the uh, whatever you are viewing, uh, what the viewer is viewing. So for this, uh, for this, we have actually uh, give them a second chance, but once they take a second screenshot, they no longer have access to the document. Right. So some of you may wonder, so um, if this is so secure, why are we able to view this, right? <laughs> Actually, um, this is a, uh, we are using a special version that uh, supports AirPlay. In the actual version, actually AirPlay is blocked. So you won't be able to do a screen capture of the document itself. 
So when you try to take a uh, screen capture of the document, what you will get is just a black screen. And this is across uh, the Android and uh, iOS and also the um, and also the desktop platforms because very often you need to share across different platforms and our system allows you to do that. And the anti screenshot and other features are consistent uh, across the different platforms. Right, so that's it, thank you. Yes. Um, what well, let's understand a little bit. It's a, it's a very crowded space. I think both mobile and on desktop and on both. Um, so we'd love to understand how you guys differentiate yourselves. Right. So uh, we differentiate ourselves in terms of the simplicity of the app, right, and then the, uh, the ability to extend across uh, different uh, formats and uh, and systems as well. And the level of security is also uh, deeper. So let's say. If you try to run the, the app in a uh, or the desktop app in a VM, a virtual machine, you wouldn't run, and you also blocks all types of screen capture software and tools as well. Right. Thanks. Can you talk about um, integrations and partnerships you have, whether it be you know with MDM vendors like a Mobile Iron uh, or an AirWatch um, to get on you know a corporate enterprises? handheld device or with firewall vendors like Palo Alto Networks, anything that you have on either of those fronts? Sure. Actually, uh, in terms of partnerships, we are looking at uh, more of the cloud storage providers, right, as well as um, uh, software vendors who are, who are actually champions in their verticals, for instance, for engineering diagrams, for instance, for script writers. So we have found strong demand in certain sectors, and, and then we will approach um, the, the champion software in that vertical, the top about integration. Um, essentially, uh, uh, I, I just repeat your question. How, how, so how do we find adoption in those spaces? Actually, interestingly, a lot of them found us. So, so they, they have searched for such an app, uh, they found us, they call us up, and we, have a, we had that conversation. Really curious about the target users. Have you spoken to them, and what's it's been in the app store, both app store for a while now. Right? Uh, no, it hasn't. Uh, so we haven't actually pub, uh, publicized it. Okay. Uh, so so we have done some interviews with uh, some publications, but we have not publicized it. So um, target users, actually everyone can use it. So um, you know, in terms of even sharing your private photos or uh, your financial information with your tax preparer, you know, anything that you want to send out, but you want to uh, keep control. So in terms of particular sectors that we want to start with. So um, we have integration with Dropbox. So people who share professionally with Dropbox. And we found that it has uh, especially strong resonance uh, among those in the creative field. So in the creative field, you spend a lot of time in coming up with a drawing or the photo. And um, you know, if you send it to, um, to a client, sometimes you will just get someone else to do it for cheaper. right? So I think there seems to be quite a strong resonance in that area. Thank you. Yeah. Thank you, Augustine, and thank you, Digify. All right, everyone. This is the fourth and last